Well, um, <clears throat> how you've you've mentioned this a couple of times, but how has your thinking? Can you talk about like how your thinking has changed from your first investment, you know, seventeen years ago, to when you started investing other people's money as as a as a venture capitalist, to how you're doing, how you actually do that now. Um, so I think, like, so when I look back at my first investment in 2000, at that time, I wasn't really, like, I wasn't doing anything. I was just kind of being passive and I was ro- riding alongside somebody else's investment, right? So mm-hmm. I was just putting money in. So, so I kind of like discount all of that. Um, I think the real time for me to start was really 2009 is when I kind of became like an active investor and, mm-hmm. and thinking about the investment process and stuff. Um, and my thesis actually has not changed a lot from Hmm. when I started. It's actually been very consistent. Mm -hmm. Uh, The changes have actually been more subtle. The changes are, for example, uh, when I started in 2009, I used to say I only invest in technical founders. Mm -hmm. Um, Well, now I would probably add a little caveat to that. Like, yes, I want want a team that can build its own product. Mm -hmm. I also want somebody on that team who is capable of and wants to be CEO. Hmm. Okay. Um, and that comes from experience of having invested in a team that was incredibly technical, but could not figure out the business. Hmm. Um, and likewise, like, so I would say like over the years, I've invested in companies across the full spectrum, right? So mm-hmm. com- founders, which are incredibly technical, mm-hmm. founders, which are incredibly good at sales, mm-hmm. founders that are incredibly good at design, hmm. so kind of completing that triad. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I would say the, the center of that triad is a black hole. It's very hard to find somebody who's good at everything. <laughs> um, but being at the peripheries of that triad also doesn't work from an investment thesis. You actually mm-hmm. do need teams who, have, uh, who, who are capable of doing all three. Mm-hmm. And you need to have that kind of capability on the team for it. So, so I think that there have been subtle evolutions to my, to my filters, but the core thesis has remained pretty consistent. Hmm. 